Gather around, everyone. Gather around. Gather around. I'm going to tell a story. It's story time. Okay? It's story time. The reason is story time. We're going to we're going to grab some pillows off the shelves. We're going to we're going to we're going to we're going to gather around. We're going to drink some milk. Have a story, maybe take a little nap after. All right? It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. You guys ready? You guys ready for the story? All right. This is a story about me. It's a story about a young young designer. I was at a crossroads in my life. I was about I was at a crossroads in my life. I was I was five foot nothing, hundred nothing pounds. I had no prospects, nothing. I was answering tech support calls at Blizzard, telling people update your drivers, man. It's not that hard. Just update your drivers, okay? Starcraft is crashing because your drivers are like twelve years old on your potato. All right, just update your drivers. And so I had I, I had nothing going for me. Nothing going for me at all. And basically I was at a crossroads and a and a shadowy figure appeared, smelling of sulfur, and he said, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you I'm gonna cut you a break. I'm going to I'm going to cut you a break and I'm going to give you something special. And down the road, down the road I might ask you for something. All right? And I said, well, "What are you going to give me? Why would I take anything?" He's going to He said, "I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to make you I'm going to give you the talent, the knowledge, the expertise, the savvy to make the greatest video game of all time. That's what he said. He said, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the skills to pay the bills and to make the greatest video game of all time. And I said, oh, okay, well, that sounds, that sounds a little bit like a little too good to be true, right? Because who am I? I'm nothing, right? I, I'm a nobody. I'm nothing. And he said, no, I'm going to make that happen. That's what I'm going to do for you. And down the road, someone's going to, someone's going to ask you for something in return. And you're going to have to give it to him. And I said, well, what is he going to ask? He said, well, you're going to have to wait and see. That's, that's the surprise. That's the surprise. You're going to have to wait and see. And I said, well, okay. I, I, like, I like the part where I get to make the cool game. I like that part. So tell me, how how will I know? How will I know who this who this servant of yours is, who this person is that's going to to ask me this thing? And I said and he said, Well, I'll describe him for you. This this is how he's how you're gonna know. First of all, he he's gonna prefer Domino's garbage pizza over un other forms of garbage pizza. That that's how you're gonna know. He he's gonna he's gonna have Dr. Pepper for blood, right? That that's how you're gonna know. He's gonna have Dr. Pepper for blood, right? He's also He's also his hands are going to be completely unwashed, even though he's been to the to the bathroom numerous times, countless times, countless times. He and it's still unwashed, right? And I said, well, okay, but you just described you just described every gamer, right? You just described every gamer. How am I? How am I going to know? which one is specifically, specifically the one. And he said, well, okay. He, he's also gonna have maximum values in all six attributes. Strength, intellect, agility, stamina, and spirit. And the one that most people don't even have, charisma. 
he's going to have maximum charisma as well. And I said, oh, okay, well, that helps. But still, those are kind of until I inspect people. I don't want to have to inspect everyone, right? He said, all right, all right. I'll tell you about his one, his one defining characteristic. You won't recognize any of those things, right? He said, he, he's also going to be bald as fuck. He's going to be bald as fuck, yeah. And I, I apologize for the profanity. I apologize for the profanity because I usually don't do that on my channel. But here's the thing. I've played a lot of Dungeons & Dragons. And you don't, you don't paraphrase prophecy, okay? You just don't. It's not, it's not something you want to do. So... I have to tell you his actual words, right? His actual words. Uh, and those are his words. He, he's going to be bald as fuck. So. Lucky numbers. Keep it up, man. Wow's is the best B game ever. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. So I said, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And he gave me the, he gave me the skills. He gave me the skills. He gave me the talents. He took this nobody. He made me a somebody. And off to work I went. Off to work I went. I got up that morning. I shook off. You know, I, I woke up basically in a, in, in a puddle of my own filth as usual. But today was different. Today was different. I was like, I'm going to get up. I'm going to change the world. So I went to work. I went to work before you knew it. Bang. I was I was at work. They interviewed me. I got on the team and I started working on the greatest game of all time. And years passed. Bang, wow was made exactly right. Wow was made. It was, it was amazing. Everything was going great. I was feeling great. Everything was perfect. Years went by. Wonderful. People were loving it. Greatest game of all time. And then one day, he appeared. He appeared. And I, I couldn't believe it. His servant appeared. And he approached me. And I couldn't believe it. I took a picture. I took a picture of him because I knew this day would come. I took a picture. That's right. And I'm going to show you that picture now. There he was. And you know what he said to me? You know what his request of me was? You know, take candle. That's what he said to me. You know, take candle. But but here's the problem. Feeling feeling empowered. Feeling empowered. Feeling just like I was the man. I had let it all go to my head. I said, I'm gonna get that candle. I'm gonna get that candle. Because that's what I do. I take candles from bald fucks like you. That's what I do. Yeah, again, apologies for the, the language. But that's that's how I was feeling. And and so I took that candle, right? I got that candle. I smoked this fool and I took his candle. Yeah. None the wiser, I went in to work the next day. A candle heavier top of the world top of the world they called me in from my office they showed me the door they said you're out of here you're out of here get get out of here that's what they said they bloodlusted on me I left in sadness that dark stranger then went to work. He went to work on my dream, the greatest game of all time. 
And he said, he went to work. He said, I can give it and I can take it away. And you know what he did to my game? You know what he did? He delivered into my game a calamity, a catastrophe, you might say. What's the word I'm looking for? It starts with a C. A veritable cataclysm of destruction was unleashed on my game. The greatest game of all time. And that's my story. That's my story. Yeah, that's how it all went down. And there's a moral. This is a cautionary tale, my friends. This is a cautionary tale. And I would have you understand, I would have you understand the moral of this story. What's the moral of this story? The moral of this story and this is something you should all watch out for is that if you lose your hair people take your stuff yeah if you lose your hair people take your stuff so don't don't lose your hair okay don't lose your hair especially if you like candles don't lose it yeah don't lose it. That's my story. I'm, t I'm sticking with it. It all happened. It all happened. I I'm not sure who you guys thought was the villain in this tale. I'm not sure who you thought the Dark Servant was. I don't know why, why you'd be confused. Yeah. I don't know who you thought I was describing. That's weird. But, yeah. Don't trust a wig either. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for sticking with my story. I really appreciate it.